we will go through the design bench pit command utilizing the command tag slope groups. It's in the surface mine module under surface. We're going to first run the command tag slope groups. These pit blocks were laid out in a previous movie for pit layout by advance and matrix. We'll just utilize these pits and tag the different sides for the different groups. If they're assigned to group 1, there's no symbol necessary. You have three tabs for the different slope groups, 2, 3, and 4. I'll switch to slope group 3 and I'll just assign the symbol so, symbol 5 and I'll assign it to these walls on the north side. There's two or three ways to select the segments and I'll simply just do pick individually and I'll tag segments for group 3. The, end, the midpoint snap comes on and you just start picking away on the segments of the pit blocks that you want for group 3. There's group 2 and the green triangle is group 4. So that's all that's required. It's just to assign the groups by putting the symbols on the different groups. Okay, now it's ready for the actual command design bench pit. Under surface design bench pit. We'll grab our surface topo grid and the grid file that we're cutting down to is the C2 key elevation. I will process multiple polylines by pit name so it'll mine these in order by name. I'm going to go up and out from the pit bottom using the offset method. No road is needed. We'll do a 25 and 25 break line resolution and hit OK to get to the next screen. I have one saved. It's called four group design. Let's load that up and take a look at it. Group one will be the segments with no symbol. So it'll be the advancing face. We'll go 65 degrees through the overburden, 55 through the topical plus 80, 55 degrees up to topo. We'll throw a couple of 150 foot wide benches in on the advancing high wall. Slope group two are these red symbols on the back side. Let's take a look at that. We'll just go 80 degrees all the way up. Anyway, let's make that about 65 degrees with no bench. Just a constant gradient all the way up. Slope group 3, which are these blue symbols we put on top and on the south end. We'll put in two small 50-foot benches. And group 4, which are the green symbols in interior to the end walls. We'll go very steep at 75 degrees with no bench. Preview on group 1 shows the two 150-foot wide benches. Preview on group 2 would just be a constant gradient all the way up. And lastly, preview on group 3 should have two 50-foot, 50 benches over. Feet or meters. This depends on your drawing setup. Hit OK. Select all the pit lines. And there it starts to draw the pits in order by name. This brings up the report, pit by pit and bench by bench volumes. We'll exit that and take a look at the finished result. All of these 3D break lines representing the various pits and their benches. AutoCAD Orbit to bring it up into 3D view. I froze the layer called pit sides, leaving you just the horizontal line work where needed. So it's a very clean, automatic way to 
change the slope groups on different sides of the pit blocks for doing design bench pit. All right, I've undone the results of the last run, and we're going to run it again this time on just the first two strips, and we'll store it to a grid sequence file for playback in the movie and for reserves. Run the command again, design bench pit. This time we'll turn on write surface history file. Everything else should remain the same. We'll keep the same slope groups set up, and we'll call this just grid history. And this time I'll do a crossing polygon and just select the first two cuts, so six blocks total for speed of processing. And finally the output grid. It's going to prefix every grid for every pit, every bench with the word. We'll just put in output. Here's the report again on the pit by pit and bench by bench volume, volumes. And let's take a minute and color them back to all color by layer. And then look at that with the AutoCAD orbit. So it's a little cleaner since there's less line work to look at and deal with at this point. I just thought I'd do fewer strips this time just to show it a little cleaner in the result of the output grids. There's the pit floor, bench one, and bench two is right up in here. So this made the sequence file, grid sequence file, and we'll view that under the reserves timing, view 3D surface history file. Load the file we just built. You have the different colors showing up down below. We'll just hit OK. every pit and every bench create a grid file. There was six pits and three or four benches deep so we're looking at about 20 some grids. Okay so it should bring up the original ground surface. I'll tip it back and zoom in and then just hit the run button. It's going to work its way down to the pit bottom on the first pit block and then advance to the next one. You can shade this sometimes for better viewing. Control the light and shadows for different casting of the sun. The yellow square. The yellow square inside the blue circle is your sun. You can cast different lighting and shadows. So if it's finished running, just hit rewind and process it again. So not only does it give you this little playback of the mining, but it also can be used then for surface mine reserves to calculate the bench one, two, three volumes in surface reserves for each pit block. Take it a step further and do the spoil timing routines and not only will it build this grid sequence file of the mining advance but then it will follow this with the spoil backfill so you can simulate the, the complete mining progression. Okay, this completes the movie on design bench pit on multiple pits using the tag slope groups. Thank you.